you can run profiles on relational sources in TDM. A data domain profile runs a profile on the data against the column name or column data. In this demo, we will run a data domain profile to identify sensitive information in our source data. Complete the required prerequisite tasks before you perform the tasks in this demo. To begin, click Projects and open the project flyer underscore data. In the overview view, click Policies. The Policies tab opens. From the Actions menu, click Add Policies. Select the PII Policy Pack and click OK. The policy is added to the project along with the data domains that it contains. Click Discover to open the Discover view. Click Profile to open the Profile page. Click Actions New Profile to create a new profile. In this demo, we create a data domain profile flyer underscore sensitive underscore data. In the New Profile dialog box, enter the profile name and description. Select the data domain checkbox. Click Next to move to the next step. Click Add Tables to add tables to the profile. Select the tables that you want to add and click OK. In this demo, we select the table Flyers that contains our flyer data. Click Next to move to the next step. In the Select Policies or Data Domains panel, choose whether to add policies or data domains to the profile. When you select a policy, Test Data Manager includes all the data domains in the policy. In this demo, we add a policy and select the PII Policy Pack. In the Sampling panel, you can select whether to run data discovery on the source data, the column name, or the source data and the column name. In this demo, we run the profile on the data and column name. Select data and column name. Enter the maximum number of rows to include in the profile. In this demo, we run the profile on 100 rows. All rows might not completely conform to the data domain expression pattern. You can enter a minimum percentage of conformance. In this demo, we enter a minimum conformance pattern of 80%. This means that columns must match the pattern in the data domain expression by at least 80%. Click Save to save the profile configuration. The profile opens in a new page. Click Actions, Execute to run the profile. Select the connection for the data source. Use the same connection that you used to import the tables in the repository. Click Execute to run the profile. You can monitor the data discovery job from the Monitor tab within the project. Open the project page and then click Monitor. When the job completes, close and open the profile again to review and apply the profile results. Click Data Domain to view a list of the tables and the profile information. Verify the percentage of data conformance and select the columns for which you want to approve the data domain assignment. Select Approve or Reject from the Status column and click the Save button to approve or reject the data domain assignment. Repeat this for all rows. You can assign rules in the data domain to each column after you approve the suggested data domain. Mark the data domain classification as completed after you review all the results. Completing the data domain classification does not affect any process. Use this method to verify that you have reviewed all the results. Click Actions, Mark Domain Classification as Completed. Click OK. You can now apply masking rules in the data domain to the columns. That completes this demo. To summarize, we created and ran a data domain profile that discovered columns with personally identifiable sensitive information. We then reviewed the profile results and marked the classification as complete. 
If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.